hello. We are putting green beans into Regular hot. Regular green beans. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to hot boiling salted water to blanch them because we're making uh, lemony green beans with marjoram, feta, red onion, and some agave actually. Oh yeah. Which is kind yeah. of a cool ingredient. And this recipe is by Midge, whose Midge. name we love. Yes. <laughs> and this is her first um, time as a finalist. Yeah. So we're cooking these about two to three minutes just until they're crisp tender and you really want to make sure not to overcook them, especially since mm -hmm. this is a salad situation. And you do want to make sure you salt the water until it, you should um, add enough water, enough salt, enough water to the salt, <laughs> enough salt to the water that uh, it actually tastes like seawater. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You think these are ready to go? Um, I think they are. Indeed. Okay. I'm going to grab the pot holders. Oh, you're going to, oh right. If yeah, I, we're just going to drain these and run some cold water over them which is a nice alternative to an ice bath to stop the cooking. Woo! Okay, I'm just gonna toss them around, some cold water. I actually like doing that. I yeah, like I the do process too. of feeling them change feel temperature. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if you toss them around, mm -hmm. the water disperses better. Yeah. Just sort of fun to do. <laughs> you can roll them up. You're very good at this rolling technique. I'm into it. <laughs> I used to do this with salad greens, and that's how I would store them in the refrigerator. Oh, oh yeah. Did you get this from your mom? No. Oh, okay. Is your not, mom not the one who washes salad greens immediately when she buys them? Oh, she did, yeah. She would yeah. layer them with, in between paper towels yeah. in plastic containers, yeah. so, but she didn't do this method. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've one-upped her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now we're going to do the rest yeah. of the stuff. Yes. I'm right. going to slice the red onion very thinly. You just use a quarter of a red onion, and Midge says to cut it super thinly. Do you want to start mixing the dressing? Yeah. So I'm going to take the lemon juice, juice of one lemon, which obviously varies, so you should use your own judgment. If you have a giant lemon, you might not want to juice the whole thing. <clears throat> this is some agave nectar. Adds a nice little sweetness to the dressing. Some lemon zest, which I feel like you can never have too much of, and um, some olive oil. Put this down. We noticed yesterday that it seemed like the agave had a nice sort of emulsifying effect yeah. on the mm -hmm. dressing. It, do, it did. Really interesting. That's right. Um, oops. <laughs> what just happened? I, just, I thought I was done, and I ended up like just dumping in half of the oil. Oh, well. And I was like, <laughs> so much for that emulsification. Um, well, do we need salt? Yes, I think we should add salt there. And then um, I'm just trying to remember the amount of marjoram. It's, it's that whole thing. And Midge says you can use oregano if you don't have marjoram around. You know what? I actually think that a, a slightly more apt substitute is a mix of oregano and thyme. Oh. Because thyme has a floral yes. that, that marjoram has. Mm -hmm. And oregano is more sort of woodsy. Yes, exactly. Okay. I'm just going to throw the red onions oh. in with the beans. Sorry. Actually, I think I can just do yeah, that. Just a Marjoram too. Show me to pour yeah. them on. Did you? Did we use all of this yesterday? Most. We Most. didn't use all. Yeah. So you don't just basically with any salad, you don't want to just dump the whole thing of dressing on. You want to kind of eye it up because lettuce amounts always vary, etc. Bean amounts. Bean amounts. You know. amounts. The other thing that we did, just slight modification. It was really just for um, cosmetic reasons. Um, is that Mitch has you add the feta before mixing, and because feta kind of um, it, it breaks down really easily. We decided to add it actually at the end. Yeah, to just fold it in. So we're, should we crumble this in? Yeah, yeah I'll give you mm -hmm. half of it. This is yeah. actually one of the most fun things to do. It is. Mm -hmm. I just uh, was reminded of the fact that someone compared us to the ladies on Delicious Dish um, I on can't SNL. Get, <laughs> I can't you remember that out of my head. head. Yesterday, and I'm thinking, hmm, now I, I kind of see what they're, I they're do. saying. I do, I know. Hmm. <laughs> It's wonderful. <laughs> so good. <laughs> really, this is just such a nice recipe. Don't you like it? Mm. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks gorgeous. There we go. Ooh, I'm very excited to taste. <laughs> Here's the <laughs> whack that bean. <laughs> mm. Mm. Really good. That lemon mm -hmm. gets you right away, and then you get the saltiness of the feta. Mm -hmm. Nice work, Midge. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.